My name is Greg Miller, and I serve as an arbitrator, mediator, and special master at JAMS. Well, I started my uh, legal career in the Navy. I was a lieutenant in the Judge Advocate General Corps, stationed here in Philadelphia. After that, I went to the United States Attorney's Office, and while in the United States Attorney's Office, I handled a number of prosecutions in the healthcare and insurance areas. After that, I went into private practice, and then I ended up my career at a very large firm where I handled arbitrations. The mediations I handled tend to be uh, in a highly regulated areas uh, and where there are sometimes complex legal issues involved. And then the goal is not only to come up with a resolution that will be acceptable to the parties, I also want to come up with a resolution that will pass muster with regulators, the courts, and any other third party that might be interested in seeing if it's a fair deal. I think uh, clients expect arbitrations to be efficient and prompt. And I think that the best uh, thing an arbitrator can do is to make sure that they understand the issues, that we aren't, uh, we aren't distracted by extraneous details. We focus in on what are the facts, what's it going to take to try the case, and how quickly we can do that. I spend a lot of time in uh, healthcare, insurance, recently in cryptocurrency. Uh, I like uh, areas where it's, uh, it's cutting edge. The law's new, it's evolving. So I tend to like very complex cases and uh, those are the ones I tend to get. When I run into roadblocks during a case, I don't overreact. It's, it's part and parcel of litigation. And there are times when uh, the facts or emotions tend to override uh, what is needed to be done in the case. So don't overact. And once you find out what the problem really is, you can deal with that and get back to what needs to be done in the case. I think the most effective tool that I use is persistence. Uh, a lot of times your first effort at mediating a case isn't successful. The parties just haven't reached the point that they're really well, willing to settle. And so I get on the phone right after that and I talk to them. I try to figure out, well, what went wrong? Why weren't we able to resolve this case? And I usually learn something during that process and it tends to reopen the mediation and we tend to find a more successful result at that point in time. I think my background is what uh, is unique about my uh, ADR experience. I've been both a plaintiff's lawyer and a defense lawyer. I've been a prosecutor and I've been a criminal defense lawyer. And those perspectives allow me to approach ADR with a perspective on everyone's position. So that experience I have, I think, um, suits me well in terms of my ADR practice.